Let's get started. Uh, <clears throat> so put squash under March in March train. Uh, so uh, do everyone know that what's this issue about? Uh, it's just like um, support squash commits, this option in uh, a March train cycle. So uh, <clears throat> let's uh, taking a look at uh, how it works. Da, 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 da. So. Okay, so here's a demo project. Um, and uh, we have a very simple uh, pipeline, uh, GitLab SAML. This has only one job, and then it's enabled uh, pipelines for much, uh, much requests. Uh, so, uh, and also I've enabled uh, much train uh, on this project. So. When user creates a match request, uh, they can put it on uh, match train. Now, uh, let's try to create a uh, match request. I'm creating now uh, March request one. Um, here's March request one. And since it's trained, I'm gonna create a March request two as well. Uh, I'm gonna edit whatever file. And then feature for two. Okay, here uh, there are two match requests uh, in this project. Uh, this is up, up the readme MD is a match request one, and then this change log match request is a uh, match request number two. And uh, both match requests um, are not on match train yet. Uh, it's uh, yeah, it's running match with result pipeline. So uh, at first we have to finish these pipelines. Um, I'm gonna uh, internally finish these pipelines. Now, uh, I'm sorry, sorry, uh, I forgot one step. Since we enable squash commits, this each match rig is, uh, needs to have more than one commit. So uh, here we have only one commit, right? Uh, we need to create two commits. I'm gonna create a new commit as well. Okay, now both smart requests have two commits, and then uh, let's uh, let's finish the uh, this March result pipeline. And, uh, do, 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 do. Okay, now we are ready. So uh, uh, as you can see, um, like we are seeing start March train bottom. So this, uh, we are ready to put this March request in the train. But also we see that squash commits option. Let's enable this and then put in on uh, March train, uh, this March request as well. Like okay, previously, uh, when user enabled the squash option, uh, the merge request immediately dropped from merge train. But today, uh, they can enable it. And uh, yes, here's merge request one and merge request two. Each uh, merge request has already uh, started merge merge train pipeline. Um, <clears throat> yes. Uh, I think I, I, I don't need to explain about Mastering Pipeline, but uh, Mastering 
pipelines are basically based on cascading ref. So uh, this much pipeline, uh, much stream pipeline is based on the latest master branch, uh, latest, latest target branch, and uh, much request one commit, uh, much request one change. And then much request to uh, much stream pipeline is based on uh, latest master branch and much request one change and much request two to change. So like uh, it's based on the cascading refs. Well, it's not really uh, involved with this uh, squash uh, support, but um, yeah, it is what it is. Ish okay, now, yes. Can I ask you a quick, quick question? I saw you did merge uh, squash and merge on both of those. Um, does it is it work fine if like one of them is not a squash merge commit and the other is? Of course, okay. of course. Cool. Yes, it's working as today. Okay, thanks. Yes. Um, then now. Uh, we have, uh, let's finish these pipelines. Uh, our, expect, our expectation is that once these pipelines finished, uh, these merge requests should be merged into master branch uh, with squash option. Uh, so let's finish this uh, merge request one's pipeline. Um, Okay, uh, as we finished this March frame pipeline, this March request has been merged. Yes, this is uh, expected. And here's March request too. Still, it's waiting uh, March frame pipeline, so let's finish this as well. It's, uh, yes. As we finished, it's being marched, and now it has been marched. So uh, the important thing is that the commit history in target branch, uh, in our case, master branch. So now we are seeing master branch commit history, and this merge branch uh, feature for one was uh, this merge request one, and then this uh, this commit feature for to into master. Uh, was introduced by March request to March. And these are March commits. And then um, if user didn't use squash option, uh, the all of commit history is, are shown uh, under this, like uh, under, under this March branch, uh, whatever message. Like we made a two commits in update readme, right? Um, uh, the readme uh, like this SHA and this SHA. Uh, but since the system squashed this too much, uh, two commits into one commit, user only seeing this one, uh, one commit. This is a squashed commit. So um, yeah, as, as you can see, we don't see like two uh, separate uh, commits in the master, uh, master branch history, right? So it means that squash uh, has been properly uh, executed and then uh, Mastrain has squashed uh, the commit history and then uh, uh, reflected in the uh, master history. <laughs> 